Hi there, so this is going to be a quick update video on the Lenovo Legion Go with Bazite, but then also Bazite on other devices. Um, but anyways, let's get started. So if you've been following what's going on with Bazite, there was a suspend bug on the Legion Go that was recently fixed. It was fixed yesterday, so now it's safe to update to the latest version. And now that newest version has some nice little um, features for you that you can now use. So HHD has been updated, and if you go all the way down to the bottom, you can see it was updated to the 2.0 version. And in 2.0 version, there's now this option for a new overlay um, where you could double tap the quick access menu button and it'll bring up this new overlay. So then I'll just show you it by double tapping the quick access menu. Now there's this new overlay that pops up. And then you can press Y to get go into like the full overlay, LB, RB, et cetera, et cetera. And there's this nice, um, pretty cool, pretty cool overlay. Um, note that this overlay is still a work in progress. So it might be buggy, et cetera. So if you find any bugs, please report them um, so that they could be looked at and fixed. Um, this is very new, um, so it still needs um, a lot of work, but it's pretty cool. And one thing you might've noticed here is there's now a motions device where there's an option to choose between different motion devices. And as you might be able to tell, um, this is the gyro. So now you could use the gyro in the controllers. So if I actually, well, right now I have the gyro already set to the left controller, this left controller here. So if I detach it, I'll be able to use the gyro. So. Um, I'll detach it now, and then we could try it out. So now you can see um, the controller is working detached. And if I go into controller, I'm going to calibrate and advanced settings and the gyro, you'll see now that since I have the left controller, the left controller is now the gyro. But yeah, so you can now actually use gyro while the controls are detached. Note that it did say beta on it, right? So since it's beta, that means there's still work to be done. It's not going to be perfect, um, but hey, it's pretty functional now. And you can actually do something like this now where you take a controller attachment and well, this if you, if you have a controller attachment, you could attach it and now you have a fully functional controller with back buttons, gyro and everything, right? So it's kind of neat. Um, actually, one thing, quick thing about the gyro, I would actually recommend that you change it to the left or right controller. Uh, right now there's a bug with a display, the display gyro on HHD. So it just it's just better for to use the controller gyros. Um, the controller gyro should be better anyways, but um, just as a heads up, there is a bug currently with the display um, gyro. So just change it to that. Um, another feature that's now available, which is pretty neat, is if you update um, simple tech TDP, there's now an advanced option down here for to enable per game AC power profiles, where basically you could have a TDP profile for when you're plugged into the, uh, plugged into charging. So when you're plugged into charge, and also when you're not plugged in. So if you look up here, you notice there's a little AC. The AC indicates that it is charging right now. So you'll see if I disconnect power, it'll turn off in a moment and then go back to a regular profile. So give it a moment. And it went back to the regular profile, which was a 12 watt TDP. But now if I plug the charger back in, it will detect again and go back up to the, the AC um, profile, which was 15 watt. So, you know, that's a, that's a pretty neat feature along with, you know, other things like SMT has been re-added to the plugin. Um, and now there's also this other feature where um, we've discovered that if you on resume, sometimes your sound could be fuzzy and setting the max TDP temporarily sometimes fixes it. So now there's this option and there's other things here. Um, so I'd recommend checking that out. Um, so there's some nice new features um, once you update. And for an update, you could just go down to the bottom of the plugin and there's gonna be a reinstall or update button. So one more thing, if you go to the Legion Go Tricks site, there is going to be this experimental sound fix. And this one, what it does is that um, it applies some sound fixes to the device so that it will um, sound better. So there's install instruction, instructions and stuff here, but note that this is experimental. Um, one issue you're going to probably run into a few times is that when you reboot, um, it will change your sound options. So let me just show you here, if we go into um, audio, after the install, the fix is done, there's going to be this new sound effect neutral sound option. And this sometimes, this sometimes will um, get reset back to the regular speakers when you reboot. So just be aware of that. Also, one thing that's a little odd is that the volume of the speaker affects the volume of the, the fixed option. So I would recommend on the regular speaker, max out the volume or get it up pretty high. Um, but yeah. Um, I'll just show you a quick demo of it in action, um, so you just see it, or I guess in this case, hear it. So let's just let it wind weaker and you can see it. 
So you hear the regular speakers. This is regular speakers. And now let's change it to the fixed up one. You can see it's the regular speakers. And that's the fixed speakers. Regular speakers. Fixed speakers. Anyways, you got the idea. Another thing to show here is that um, this is my GPT Win 4, and I also installed Bazite on, Bazite on this device, and it's working pretty well. So if I hold the back button, um, I can now get the HHD overlay showing up. So for I showed the double tap for to get the overlay to show up, but you can also hold the quick access menu button. So if you go here, um, the, the GPT Win 4 only has two back buttons, so I had to do map the R4 to QAM. Um, so that's a quick access menu. So if I just hold R4, um, it brings up or closes the um, the overlay. But pretty much all the hardware here is working as well. So if I go into the controller and I go into um, the calibrate, you can see the gyro is working, joysticks um, and, and everything. Um, but yeah, like the back buttons work and all the buttons work, etc., etc. So pretty neat. So um, Bazite has added added support to a lot of different handhelds, and so has HHD. So you could try this on the GPD Win 4, the Win Max 2. Um, there's a long list of devices that Bazite now can work with, so I'd say give it a shot um, if you have a different PC handheld. But yeah, that's really it. Um, there's not really much else. It's a, this today's going to be a quick video. Anyways, that's it for me.